what's going on YouTube? Nasif here from Click, and today I'm going to be doing a quick video. I just want to talk about, so I don't know what I'm going to be calling this series. I uh, can't think of a name on the spot, but, but essentially what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be talking about phones in the future that aren't here yet, but stuff that I want to see in them, stuff that I want to, you know, see in the phones basically, and, and you know, rumors and kind of compiling a little bit of this and that and uh, talking about the new phone. So today's topic or today's phone is going to be the iPhone 8 or the iPhone 7S, whatever phone that comes out in 2017 from Apple. Um, so first things first, I will talk about, uh, I've heard rumors that there's supposed to be three iPhone models. Just don't do it. Just stick with the two iPhone models. You have the 4.7 inch with, I, I, I mean, I, from what I've heard, this is going to be a little bit of a long video probably, but from what I've heard is their, their AMOLED screen supplier, whoever it is, not sure who it is, they can't produce enough displays for the company, so for Apple to put it in every single phone. So from what I've heard and from what I know is the iPhone 8, is, we're going to call it the iPhone 8 for this video just because it's supposed to be the 10th anniversary iPhone and uh, it's not going to be 7S or whatever. It's going to be a completely new phone. So uh, for me personally, I think they should just call it iPhone X. That would be cool. <laughs> um, so we'll call it iPhone 8 for this video. Um, so they're going to have iPhone 8 4.7 inch with an LCD display. Um, whatever specs comes with it, same camera bump, whatever they put in there. We'll talk about stuff that I want to see in the future or uh, in, later on in the video. You have the iPhone 7 Plus you know, this, and, and this is going to have an LCD display as well. And this is where I think Apple is going to go wrong if they do this. They'll have the same iPhone 7 Plus but with an AMOLED display. Don't do it, Apple. Just, just make that Plus upgrade really worth the money and throw... So you have two, two phones. So you have the 4.7 LCD and the 5.5 inch AMOLED display. Um, and another thing I want to talk about while we're talking about displays is the chin on the iPhone displays. Why is it so big? <laughs> now, I've seen renders and stuff where it's like the whole screen, is, the whole front of the phone is screen. That's never going to happen. Um, and if it does, I'll be blown off the planet. Like, I'm, I'll, that'll knock my socks right off. But, I mean, you guys can see, like, there's a huge chin here. I'll turn the phone on for you. Uh, clear my notifications here. There we go. So like, look, the phone, the, the screen ends here. Why can't you make the home button or turn the turn the bottom of the display to, into a screen and just make the bottom of the phone the home button with the force touch thing that's on the iPhone 7 Plus now? Leave the to the top or extend the screen a little bit up. Because I mean, again, like if you look at the, the top of the display, there's so much chin here. I'm sure Apple, with all the money and all the people and all the employees they have, they can extend the screen not lose any functionality on the front there so it is what it is hopefully they can extend it a little bit make it a little bit higher of a you know screen to body ratio because right now i think it's relatively low um and the chins just look ugly in my in my opinion i prefer what phone did i have that had like no i'm trying to think what phone i had that had like it was basically all screen i don't remember I, i'm pretty sure it was a blue phone if i'm not mistaken maybe i'm talking out of my ass but i'm pretty sure a phone that i've had for a while was kind of Mostly screen, not much body on the front. LG. <laughs> I don't know how I forgot that. The LG G4. Now that phone was mostly screen, not much body on the front of the phone. Um, and I, I mean, if LG can do it, Apple can do it. So it is what it is. That's one thing I want to see. Uh, in terms of processors, now Apple's always top of the game with their processors. But uh, I think right now it's got a quad core, but really it's two dual cores that work separately. So you'll never have them running both at the same time. It's what I, what I think is what it is. Just make it a proper quad core, have it run four cores at a time if you need to. Your Geekbench cores will shoot through the roof. Uh, you'll put every Android to shame. Uh, so if Apple does that, that'd be sick. Uh, maybe five, four or five gigs of RAM, just because. All right, guys, we're back. My apologies. I did have to take a phone call. Stupid phone started ringing at home. Uh, but again, I just wanted to talk about the iPhone and the RAM. So again, like I said, if you had six gigs of RAM in the iPhone, it would fantastic. And again, it doesn't need it. But uh, it is what it is. Just throw it in there anyway. <laughs> um, what else I'm talking about? Cameras. The dual cameras, again, uh, for me, dual cameras are a gimmick. Is it necessary? No, not at all. Is it cool? Sure it is. But again, at the end of the day, it's not necessary. So, I mean, don't take, don't get rid of them. Now that you've put them on, you're stuck with them, Apple. But um, give them something better than just a telescopic zoom. Like, what is that? If I want to zoom, I'll just walk up to my subject and take the picture. I never use zoom on my photos anyway, so, you know, what's the point? But um, figure something else out, I'd give you like a wide angle shot or something, or I don't know. It's, it's, it's not, again, it's not my job to figure that stuff out. It's Apple's. Uh, but that's just what I would say it would be a proper dual camera if you had more functionality than just a zoom. Um, but uh, that's that for the cameras. The screen we went over. The build, I, I don't know. I heard rumors that they're going back to a glass and this whole glass front and back build. That'd be cool if they can pull it off, but. Um, 
I don't know. I mean, iPhones, you look at an iPhone, it, I can't imagine them coming up with an iPhone design with glass on the back. But I mean, it's Apple. All of their phones are beautiful. Let's not, let's not lie here. Even the, uh, like the iPhone 6 Plus here with the antenna bands and stuff across, it, it's a nice phone. You guys can't deny that it's a beautiful looking phone. Um, but I mean, it does, again, that's up to Apple to figure out the design. Um, come up with something cool and, and, and new. No? Don't just use the same, there's my phone. So don't, use, just, don't just use the same stuff that you've been using before that other companies are using. Come up with something new, um, something that's revolutionary and, and it is what it is. Because it is their 10th anniversary iPhone. They want to kill it with this one. Um, and I don't know, bring the headphone jack back. <laughs> that would be nice. And um, if, if again, if, if they do this three model tier thing, the top model has to have some stupid different like specs of some sort. So one thing I was thinking is if they took the iPad Pro, the four speakers, and stuck them into the iPhone, <laughs> how awesome would that be? I mean, if you guys have heard the iPhone 7 Plus, it's loud as hell already, and it sounds great. Imagine four speakers on an iPhone, now that'd be nuts. And again, I know they probably can't fit all of that into the size of the phone, but again, that's not my problem. <laughs> I know that's Apple's. Um, and then also small things like uh, quick charge, native quick charge, wireless charging, if they can come up with that, that would be really cool. Um, and I don't know what else, I'm, you know, I mean, iOS 11 or iOS X or whatever they're going to call it has to have some new stuff. So, I mean, I mean, even the small things like changing icons, even changing the launcher, freely moving your icons around on your home screen, hiding stuff is already there, but I want to hide like stuff that's like some of the stuff you can't hide at all. I want to hide it pretty much all of Apple's crap because I never use it. Um, I mean, just overall, you got to be able to make the phone customizable to the user because for me, I'm sick of using an iPhone that's basically, I pull my iPhone out, it's the same as everyone else's, you know, minus the wallpaper and uh, the font size. Like really, that's pretty much, that's all that's different. Home screen layout's pretty much all the same on every iPhone. Um, so that's the, that's my problem with iOS. It's it's not customizable at all. They need to include a dark mode, especially with AMOLED panels coming next year, or supposedly dark mode is a must. Um, and it shouldn't just be for like settings and you know one or two apps. It should be system wide. So if I download Facebook, it should have its own whatever API, whatever it's called. I don't know what the hell it is, but um, should have its dark mode completely like completely dark Facebook, completely dark dark Twitter, Messenger, Instagram, Snapchat. All this stuff should have that dark mode. And I know Apple can do it um, when they work with all these companies and whatever. So again, that's not up to me. That's something for Apple to figure out. Um, now the video is getting a little bit long, but uh, and also one thing, price has to come down on the iPhone, maybe a hundred bucks. If you guys drop the price and increase the specs, you probably make a lot more money than you are now. Uh, and I'm not a business person or whatever, so I don't know, maybe I'm talking out of my ass. But as a consumer, I hate paying so much for phones, and that's why I never have the, <laughs> the latest phone. I always buy last year's phones or blue phones or you know budget phones. So it is what it is. Um, I think that's pretty much. It I covered basically all the stuff I wanted to talk about for the iPhone 8, whatever. Um, I'll probably, maybe I'll have an iOS 11 wish list video come out later on. Uh, I gotta play with iOS 10.2 and, and see what's there, what's not, and uh, just kind of compile my thoughts on. I guess write it down or something because I have a lot to say about iOS that needs to change. Only went over a little bit here. So, anyways, guys, this is pretty much it for the iPhone wish list video. Maybe I'll just call it the wish list or something. Um, but uh, yeah, the iPhone 8 video, those are the stuff that I want to see in it. I went over a bunch of stuff and uh, the usual upgrades, you know, RAM, processor, camera, battery, the usual stuff. And I, and I think Apple should kind of revolutionize the iPhone or the smartphone as we know it. So that's up to them to figure out, not me. Anyways, guys, if you have any comments about the iPhone 8, any thoughts, any wishes, drop them down in the comment section down below. Let's get a bit of discussion going. And let me know if you guys are enjoying this kind of uh, what I want to see videos um and, you know wish list videos i guess we'll call them and uh we'll see what's up we'll go from here but uh, again guys thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for all the support and if you want to stay uh, up to date with the stuff on our channel click the sub button and click the little notification button next to the sub button that'll notify you when our videos go live and uh, again guys thank you guys so much for all the support this has been the from click and i'll talk to you guys in the next video i'm out peace